Good evening from Sala Petrassi. We are at the Auditorium Parco della Musica in Rome. We chose this place, this location, because it is a work built by you, by the group, which is a very important group that has always been attentive to culture too. Tonight, I will lead uh, with that mask, uh, because all the uh, we are all compliant with the safety and security law, social distancing, and so on and so forth. It is pause important. We built want to organize this evening and this event because despite the period we are living, the images of Rome in without any people, without all capitals in the world, want to be a moment uh, to see the important steps in 2020, but mostly the future. So what the future will bring, the future of a company, a group that has never stopped despite the incredible period of time. I would like to welcome immediately everybody. We have connections and link. This is an event that allows us to be together with all over the world. You see the group, all the people connected, many, many, many people connected. Good evening to you. I don't know if you want to, yes, okay, good evening, good evening, hello, hello, and welcome here to this virtual event. It was an occasion to meet again all together despite the distances. This is a group that has been working all over the world since its beginning. I wanted to start this evening and this event by giving a welcome, a big welcome to the president of the group, Donato Iacovone, who is going to give his first greetings. Good evening. Good evening. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. First of all, welcome to everyone. This event is uh, very different from last year's. Last year's event was uh, live. It was uh, very different compared to today. This year has been daunting so far. It's been very difficult for many countries throughout the world and many people. This year has been particularly challenging for the whole economy. Italy has lost 10% of its GDP. The impact has been major. All industries have been affected. Some have been affected more than others. Luckily, our company has managed to steer the course in terms of safety in the workplace and uh, in terms of turnover. We've managed to continue working on all our building site and this has been a major achievement. This year has been particularly difficult as I said before and we've managed to finalize the merger with Astadi, which has entered a holding company, and this is a major achievement for Italy and the, its economy. This way, we've strengthened, we build, we have created an international holding company, and uh, we. Thank you, um, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you for your words, and I, we hope you will be following us uh, uh, through the video connection and the streaming video. I wanted to go on with the first guest we have. I wanted to call Claudio Lavizzi, who is the General Manager in Global Operations. I kindly ask him to take the floor. Welcome. Welcome. We don't have an applause, but I'm very happy you are here. It is a very important year. You can remove your mask too, because we have, as we remember, we uh, respect distances, social distances here. The videos you are going to watch uh, well, uh, were shot in a moment before the COVID-19. So this is why you will see people without a mask, not wearing a mask. That was an extraordinary year. And uh, you have worked and uh, produced uh, in a, an important uh, uh, way. So, as the president was saying, what, what did it mean to build big works all over the world in 2020? So, which were the great difficulties you had? Well, this year has been particularly complex for all of us. 
we haven't stopped. We are used to face all sorts of challenges. We have a solid experience and、uh, we are used、uh, to face the sheer force of nature. We tackled civil wars and、uh, we have also crossed a pandemic. We have adopted all necessary measures and we have managed to carry on working. We stopped just a few weeks. Restrictions were imposed on us and we have kept producing all over the world. We've、uh, finalized、uh, very important projects, not to mention、uh, St. George's Bridge in,、uh, in Genoa, but Desmond Bridge in、uh, California and n e c k a r t a l Dyke in Namibia. And then we have the metro in Paris. The underground in、uh, Perth and line number four of the underground in Milan.、Um, many projects、um, have been halt halted or they're in standby. We were adjudicated、um, the airport, the second airport in Dubai, but the project、uh, has been postponed. We have sown our seeds and we're going to reap the benefits in 2021. Undoubtedly, there were many difficulties, as you said. Well, there's no doubt about that. We have an excellent capacity to tackle problems, excellent troubleshooting skills. There's no doubt about that. We've challenged this pandemic face off, and we've adopted all measures, all measures to continue working. Sometimes we had to double our logistics. Our building sites. We had to introduce new r o t a in、uh, our canteens. We had to change transport. We had to keep people off building sites to reduce human impact. I've been able to implement all、uh, adaptation skills and we've managed to. Respond to challenges, and we have actually availed of contracting companies that are real partners to us, and we've actually bet on customer knowledge. And we've also bore in mind customers' targets, and then the most, then the key, the key to our success is our personnel. Oh, those of you who are in attendance of this meeting. And、uh, we've made severe personal sacrifices. People haven't met their family for one year. You've steered the course.、Um, despite the challenges, circumstances, we have a very good health system in Italy, and you can imagine the difficulties people in Tajikistan or in Ethiopia. Have had to face. We've sent、uh, airplanes with medical support and equipment.、Uh, but our people in the front line have been really. You said many projects are in a standby position. What are you expecting for the future? Well, we are very determined to extend our market in the United States. We have very interesting pro ongoing projects in、uh, Australia, and、uh, if they're implemented, the contribution will be very important. Italy is resuming after years of stagnation. We have important projects in Paris the Grand Paris project and the high speed rail link between Italy and France, and then the Middle East region uh, uh, has always been very important to us.、Um, uh, They had to face the oil challenge, that region had to face the oil challenge and the COVID challenge. But our perspectives are rosy for Saudi Arabia. We have projects in Canada and Norway. And then、uh, we have a very good, I mean, we have the Astaldi projects in India, Romania, and then we're always we are turning our glance to other countries. We have very interesting. Pipelines, and we are paying a lot of attention to a 15 billion 
dollar project in Texas, and it's going to change our outlook in the United States. Meeting is, uh, the meeting is for next year to see what you have implemented for 2021. I thank Claudio Lotizzi, and we send you the new uh, advertising. Thank you. We build qualità e ingegneria italiana nel mondo. Grandi opere che migliorano la vita delle persone, dal canale di Panama al ponte di Genova. Una squadra di 70.000 donne e uomini capace di creare lavoro anche per i giovani. We build da 115 anni al servizio del nostro paese per costruire il futuro. We welcome Massimo Ferrari. Welcome here, General Manager Corporate Finance of oh, We'll Build. So we have seen that many are the prospects for the future, but the sector uh, is a sector where the states are investing staggering amounts of money in infrastructure to drive recovery because these are the, uh, the ones that drive recovery. There are good prospects for companies in the sector. What do companies need to remain competitive? Well, we have rosy perspectives for the next three years. Uh, many countries have to make up for the huge gap the governor of the Bank of Italy said that Italy will resume, will come back to 2019 levels in a couple of years' time. Infrastructure are uh, a very good uh, transmission tool for richness. Claudio uh, has men mentioned important uh, markets. This means a uh, huge Im impact on our supply chain. This is what we have tried to do this year. Thanks to our partner and our associates, uh, we've created the Progetto uh, Italia um, initiative. We have many workers connected with us today, despite uh, all the slowdown and the difficulties we had to face. Project Italia. This is the first time there's an investment of long-term vision and a re real long-term vision, an important one. But there are difficulties. The moment is a very complex one. Where there are times when you thought you wouldn't make it. Of course, um, we have thought about this many times a day. But we uh, have excellent troubleshooting skills, but we are extremely tenacious. We are very determined, uh, and uh, we achieved and finished the Geneva Bridge, and uh, we finalized everything was connected with the Progetto Italia initiative. And uh, many companies uh, associated to us have managed to keep some cash flow, and uh, they've maintained uh, bank support. In all sectors, investors are increasingly looking at the solidity of companies and the solidity of the group. And investors are betting on we build. Is it the sector that attracts them or the group, or the evolution of the group? Well, our holding company has drawn investors both on the equity side. We increased our capital last year. And on the bond side, we injected more than one billion in bonds. Banks have been supporting us with uh, fresh money. So the system has been working. Our shareholders uh, are supporting us. And uh, we turn investors into cash flow and dividends uh, and rightly so, and investors and shareholders are reaping the benefits of it, of it. This has been the case so far, and I don't see why this shouldn't be the case this year. Ferrari, because this injection, real injection of thrust and solidity of the group is always a good thing, I'm launching a video that traces back the important points of 2020. Let's have a look.
think about it. This year, we sought answers to questions like never before. How to change the way we live. How to meet each other. Where to exchange ideas. At times, we simply dreamed of being elsewhere. During this extraordinary year, when everything seemed to come to a halt, we kept on moving and growing, becoming bigger and stronger. All the while ensuring the health and safety of our men and women. We searched for ways to move faster and more safely, making mobility even more sustainable. We shortened distances, bringing remote places closer together. We strengthen our commitment to adopt innovative technologies to produce clean energy and make water cleaner and available to everyone. During this extraordinary year, we kept our pledge to improve the lives of millions of people all over the world. In our search for new challenges, we found ourselves with a new identity and a new idea for a sustainable future all together. The managing director of We Build, Pietro Salini. Welcome, welcome here. A complex year, a year which is difficult uh, at the worldwide level for everybody. But in such a difficult context, you have made great improvements, great steps forward. How did you do? Well, thank you. And uh, first of all, credit should be paid to all those who are in attendance of this meeting, to our wonderful personnel. Uh, I'm very pleased to have um, all these people around us. This uh, has been the first Christmas we're not able to share a drink together, to hug ourselves. This is a different different year. Despite all this, this year has been an extraordinary year for us, thanks to your skills, because we've managed to do outstanding things, and we are prepared to do excellent things next year. This is uh, the summary of such a special year. We usually draw a line at Christmas and it's difficult to take a glance backward because many things have happened this year. I remember last year's Christmas guardavamo questo spettacolo straordinario di questi ragazzi meravigliosi e poi alla fine il Ponte di Genova durante l'anno è diventato realtà. Ci chiamavamo l'altro anno Salini in Pregino, quest'anno ci chiamiamo We Build, l'altro anno eravamo solo noi, adesso ci sono 15.000 persone in più di Astaldi insieme a noi, avevamo due bond fa, fatto due nuove missioni sul mercato in un anno straordinariamente difficile per noi e per il Paese, per tutto quello che è successo e invece l'abbiamo fatto con successo, abbiamo consegnato tanti progetti hanno detto prima sia Massimo che, che Claudio e tanti ne stiamo cominciando cioè alla fine se uno fa un bilancio di questo tipo e dice un anno come definì una volta la regina Elisabetta annus horribilis il nostro annus horribilis in realtà non c'è, cresciamo, facciamo delle cose nuove cioè abbiamo delle 9.000 nuove persone che entrano nel gruppo 3.000 ragazzi, dobbiamo ancora cambiare delle cose che non vanno bene, cioè abbiamo solo qua ne vediamo tante di donne ma se, il microfono lo mette un po' più vicino se guardiamo al numero dei nostri dirigenti, bravo, più donne, stava dicendo dicevo, una cosa 412 dirigenti, 38 donne. Ecco, questa è una cosa da cambiare assolutamente. Quindi anche bravo. i buoni propositi li facciamo nel, nel giorno di Natale, come si fa Alla fine nelle famiglie. Alla fine dell'anno bisogna fare i buoni propositi, cioè più donne. Bravissima. Ragazze, dovete crescere, dovete essere più forti. 
Eh, dovete fare lo sgambetto a quei maschi che in qualche modo <ride> si, si mettono di traverso, perché ci avete tutta la forza e tutta la capacità per farlo. Assolutamente la determinazione. È vero, forse è un settore che uno pensa poco femminile, in realtà ci sono molte donne, anzi le saluto perché le ho viste molte anche collegate nel nostro screen. Ecco, adesso volevo far... Come ci, abbiamo delle testimonianze molto belle, eh, voi avete cantieri in tutto il mondo, sono state scelte delle aree di business che contribuiscono allo sviluppo sostenibile, ecco voi avete sostenibilità è una parola molto importante per il gruppo, io la trovo spesso, la leggo spesso e voi ne parlate spesso, ecco io volevo chiedere, ci dovrebbe essere adesso un collegamento, ne parlava prima eh, Claudio Latizzi dal, da, dal, in California, il Desmond Bridge e dovremmo avere una testimonianza di Dino Desiati. Vediamo Dino. Good morning everybody, my name is Dino Desiati, I work for uh, Rebuild, I am right now in Long Beach, California, and behind me is the iconic... Siamo qui al Gerald Desmond Bridge, un ponte iconico, abbiamo appena concluso la costruzione di questo ponte ed è stato aperto al traffico il 2 ottobre 2020, il ponte... ha visto la sua esecuzione iniziare nel 2012. Migliaia di persone hanno lavorato alla sua costruzione, è un ponte di una lunghezza di 8.800 piedi, circa 3 km, e con due torri di circa 540 eh, piedi, circa 200 metri di pilastri delle ISG, cioè questo nuovo acronimo che in qualche modo sintetizza che cosa è la sostenibilità, che non è una parola ma è un programma, un programma di azioni. Nel nostro piano industriale quest'anno questi pilastri sono valorizzati, c'è cioè un programma di azioni importanti per la riduzione per esempio del carbon, del carbon print che non, non va in, in nessun modo definito solo a parole, va realizzato poi attraverso una serie di azioni fisiche e dei target da raggiungere in termini di emissioni. Ognuno di questi pilastri dell'IEG quindi si trasforma da un atto di buona volontà, chiamiamolo così, di desiderio, a effettivamente delle linee delle di, piano, linee di piano, piano trasmesse a tutto il management e con dei target da raggiungere. Adesso andiamo in Tagikistan, dove lei è stato da poco se non sbaglio. Sì. Dovrebbe esserci l'ingegner Guerino? Cari colleghi, sono direttore del progetto qui in Tajikistan, vorrei esprimere tutta la mia gratitudine per il lavoro svolto. Siamo in Tajikistan, Asia centrale, in una zona montagnosa, ci troviamo a circa 3000 metri di altezza. Il progetto ha raggiunto una fase avanzata di esecuzione e stiamo iniziando con la produzione di corrente elettrica. Questa iniziativa è stata possibile grazie all'acre lavoro di tecnici, ingegneri e tutti i soggetti coinvolti in questo progetto che hanno dovuto affrontare grandi difficoltà, ma abbiamo superato questa sfida grazie al nostro spirito di squadra. Questo è un aspetto molto importante. Abbiamo superato queste difficoltà grazie alla nostra grande professionalità. Io ho ancora delle fantastiche melagrane che mi ha regalato il Presidente Ramon. È andato eh, con il Presidente. Sì, eh, sì. È bello perché siamo andati a celebrare proprio il diciamo, raggiungimento della, della quota che avevamo stabilito del, del, dell'invaso e, e quindi per la produzione di energia per quel Paese che è assolutamente è fondamentale. fondamentale. Quindi un'opera di grande importanza per tutta quell'area, perché forse può essere anche un veicolo di pace, non solamente. Good relations with your neighbors, then you have peace in exchange. And this uh, is possible in many countries. Let me remind you that water is very important. Water is, um, has often been um the asset f 
for war, but it could also be an asset for peace. We should work towards peace instead of war. Mr. Guerino said he is proud of a teamwork, which is an important one, which is a recurring topic, the fact of teamwork. But our organization is made up of people. We're made up of excellent people, uh, excellent processes, our organization uh, is top-notch, and uh, we have a very strong team spirit, and uh, we have uh, checked procedures, solid procedures, uh, and uh, our infrastructure is very solid. They have to last dozens of years dozens of years, more than our lifetimes, they have to be larger than life, and uh, processes must be quality-based. Uh, Seattle now. My name is Daniel Herencia, I'm the Vice President for Construction for Lane. We are here in the Ship Canal project. We are building a 4.2-kilometer tunnel for the city of Seattle. It's a very important and sustainable project, as we are trying to at the end of this project, capture the water that would have flown into the ship canal, the historic ship canal, and eventually into the ocean. So, like I said, we are building this 4.2 kilometer tunnel with a TBM that is arriving here in January. Uh, we also have five shafts uh, as part of this project. This project is a big project for the city of Seattle. Like I said, it's uh, a sustainable project, and uh, the, the purpose is to, to clean the water before it's uh, is uh, put back into, into the ocean. And uh, for us, it's very strategic, and uh, uh, Lane is uh, the only contractor doing this work. So it's a 100% Lane project, a $250 million project, four year duration. We started in 2019. We are about 20% into the project right now. And we have no incidents, so safety is good, it's our priority, and uh, everything is going as planned. Yes, there are technical issues with these connections, but uh, it is important also to mention about uh, to mention clean water. It is a lane project. It's a hundred percent of the group, and we are talking about uh, a very important structure that one too. The United States are number one client. The United States is a a very important nation for us. Uh, we pay a lot of attention to the United States. Our heart is based in Italy, but a large chunk of our business is based in the United States, and we want to grow there because we have many opportunities there. Resources are huge, and we want to improve the quality of the life of the Americans. And... Um, we have a huge potential for high-speed trains there. Uh, we've built the high-speed rail network in Italy, and um, we have a project uh, from Houston to Dallas. This has been the first high-speed rail project in the United States. Um, we've just uh, had permissions and, uh, you know, the United States were built on trains, on railways, the East Coast Rail Link, but it's still lagging behind, and planes are used in uh, uh, short distances, while we can move people in a sustainable way. We can improve safety, we can reduce pollution by using train, and people can use trains to commute uh, back and forth to work. And uh, probably the return on investment uh, can be really important. And there, so, some uh, US states have a larger pill than Italy. Let's go to Doha now. We are in Alba Stadium, just completed and ready to uh, be handed over to the client. The stadium has been built containing all the sustainability standards set up by the FIFA for the World Cup event in 2022 and is the first and the biggest stadium that achieved the Five Star GSAS Award. As you see the certificate in front of me. The stadium is equipped with many high technological devices 
and installation, in particular the air conditioning, but not only, is fully equipped with the total control of every single system. From here, you can control all the installations. The, another aspect of the sustainability of the stadium is the fact that after the event, all the upper part of the stadium will be entirely removed and donated to other poor countries. Beh, devo dire immagini incredibili. Incredible images. This is the uh, stadium ready for the Olympic Games in 2022. We hope so. Ma adesso il tema vero che eh, quando si parla di calcio, eh, diciamo... When we talk about football, we often talk about the World Cup. Sometimes I, people struggle to understand the interests around the building of a stadium. This stadium is excellent and this is an outstanding project and it can be a, a very important boost to, to our activity in this field. And I can see that there's a growing interest uh, in Stadia and many international clubs are calling us up to build Stadia because projects are extremely sophisticated. You need high technology, you need air conditioning, safety systems, uh, traffic control systems, and uh, you've been uh, uh, certified GSAS safety standard. And uh, Qatar can uh, actually be proud of this stadium. Not all countries can uh, make such an investment, but this is an excellent uh, business card and we are very proud of our work. We have seen projects, things that were already implemented and finished in, uh, as we said, in such a difficult moment in the COVID emergency, which is some things that is not going away. Now we have this vaccine. We all hope that it will solve the problem. But what was, according to you, the most complex challenge in this period? Uh, first of all, continue working. At the beginning, the shock was huge. It was an obscure, invisible uh, virus which uh, caused uh, many casualties and it led us to rethink about safety at the workplace. We had to keep safety in building sites. We had 2,000 uh, infections all over the world. Uh, we have uh, 114 positive uh, individuals who are positive to the virus, but luckily none of them have been severe. Uh, no casualties Luckily, yeah, management has been excellent and the organization uh, has radically changed uh, its uh, working system. We had to keep social distancing, we had to change our transport system, uh, and we have had to create specific procedures for positive people and how to handle these cases to curb infections. We have 1,200 people working from home, uh, working remotely, and this is an organizational challenge. Uh, it sounds easy for a few days, but when these changes uh, continue to go on for a while, then things are difficult. Um, the organization has responded very well. The vast majority of people working from home uh, have felt the difference in uh, work style. Building sites continue to go on, so the industrial part keeps producing on site, as do checks, controls, monitoring site. They're all carried out remotely. Um, we can't say that it's entirely efficient, but we can say that we've managed to face this challenge and we have worked in an emergency situation. We've been able to work on a daily basis. Many people have made a huge effort to keep monitoring and production going. I have to say that uh, uh, our company 
uh, is proud uh, of its uh, job record keeping. Uh, we haven't lost one single job, and this is a major achievement, an outstanding uh, target. And uh, I think that the our company has been abiding by its social role, and we have to support it in this endeavor. A series of connections and links from construction sites, and not only that. The first one is with the managing director of Astaldi, Filippo Stinelli. I don't know if he's already with us. Can you see her? Yeah, yes, yes, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Let me greet everyone. I'd like to address my greetings to all of you. I'd like to wish you Merry Christmas. Uh, we're drawing, this year is drawing to a close, and this year has been particularly challenged. And I have to say that uh, Astaldi has to face has had to face many challenges. We've kept working on all major infrastructure projects in California, Italy, and other parts of the world. As to Astaldi, we've also had to achieve other aims. We've been uh, able to finalize uh, our capital increase. We, we've had new partners joining us, and uh, we participated in the Project Italy initiative. And uh, obviously the pandemic uh, has drawn our attention, but we have had many achievements uh, throughout the year. This year has been particularly daunting, and uh, we are very confident in the future. Uh, we've been integrating with World Build, we've always worked with this company for years. We have an industrial integration and we have common values. We're keeping um, our projects uh, on course and this year has been positive overall for the for our company and uh, let me address you all my best uh, Christmas we uh, greetings. Well, what can we say about Astaldi? Astaldi is uh, historic name. It has a very solid international experience. Many people are entering a new world. Uh, this is going to be a larger company, and this company will be able to actually make the most of its new skills. We've always said that size matters in our sector. We've started our acquisition process in 2010. We started with this um, narrative, risk management, uh, people management, a tr talent attraction, and our study um, has always been a major playing player for Progetto Italia. We launched this project before COVID, and Astaldi was a pillar of that initiative, and we've managed to um, achieve this merger. Uh, the difficulties were huge. We couldn't uh, access tribunals. Uh, banks were, mo were working remotely, and this process has been uh, very complex administration-wise. And it was beset with traps. And I remember that uh, our bid uh, was launched in February and last year, and we finalized it uh, October this year, we saved 15,000 jobs. And we've uh, managed to do so and we've uh, carried out a gruesome work thanks to outstanding people with consultants, lawyers, and we've managed to physically achieve this operation which vests a huge importance um, we've worked together with our partners and our growth has been particularly significant. Uh, our EBIT has grown, our net growth, uh, our turnover has grown. We 
have many projects coming from Astaldi, and um, we are planning for a good foreboding based uh, uh, 2021. Astaldi, Ecosi, all branches of this company are preparing for an excellent 2021. We have mentioned Lane because Lane was a very important part piece for the group. I have the managing director, uh, Mark Schiller, who is connected. I don't know if you can hear us. Hi, uh, can you hear us? Yeah, thank you. I'm joined here our corporate, uh, corporate office with our <laughs> senior leadership team. We have Adolfo Crisculo, Gianfranco Catrini, Seth Furmender, Mark Tomkowski, and on the line here also zoomed in is Dan Stoppenhagen. <clears throat> so a couple things I want to touch on this year are some major achievements. We heard Dino talk earlier about the Gerald Desmond Bridge and delivering yes. that project. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful project. It's been a long time coming, but we got to the finish line. And congratulations to the team. Some other notable projects that have come to an end that we've completed and delivered is I-70 in Pennsylvania, uh, I-395 in the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Florida Turnpike job, and a few other smaller jobs in the state of Maryland. Underway, we have some exciting projects going on throughout the state of North Carolina and South Carolina at the moment. Uh, I-85, 440, Statesville and 540. These are good jobs for Lane and WeBuild. Uh, in addition, down in the, in the state of Florida, we have our Wakaiva project and also C-43, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, first and foremost, I wanna thank everybody uh, on the Lane safety team and all of our employees for adapting to the difficult times this global pandemic has presented to us. But our people deal with challenges every day and they showed exactly that they have the skills to deal with these things uh, on a regular basis and they dealt with them very well. Uh, we were impacted uh, slightly on a few projects, but for the most part, our people stayed safe and productive. So I really wanna thank them for that. And, I, and again, on the safety front, our people did a phenomenal job in staying, working safe this year and staying safe. This will be one of Lane Construction's safest years ever. So I'm very proud of that, and I hope all of our people are as well. Relative to sustainable projects, I mentioned C-43. This is a phenomenal job in Southern Florida. We're creating 10,000 acres of uh, freshwater reservoir to to enhance the environmental and restoration of the Everglades in Southern Florida. A phenomenal John, a job. In addition, we have multiple tunnel jobs. These are CSO projects underway that Daniele Nevia uh, was talking yeah. about earlier in Seattle. We have one in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and of course the, uh, the large job in Washington, D.C. at NEBT. Our crews are working very productively and I give Daniele a lot of credit for the effort he's putting into that. So with that, um, I mentioned Dan Stoppenhagen earlier. We brought Dan on from floor. Uh, he is head of our uh, engineering bidding and business development. He comes with a lot of experience and we're very proud to have him as a part of our team. He's developed a commercial plan that's focused on our key markets uh, without, uh, within the United States and also some of these more sustainable projects that I just touched on. So welcome to the team, Dan. And with that, I wanna thank everybody within Lane Construction and the support we get from WeBuild. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to you all. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Shear. Mark. Thank you, Mark, to all the team. You've done a successful job. Very happy about that. Happy Christmas to all of you. Un bellissimo gruppo, grazie, grazie. A wonderful group. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, greetings from all of us. A very important witnesses, uh, important uh, links and connections that make us understand the size of the group. And that is not the end. There are many important construction sites that are important. We have many links and connections. So I can ask you to be brief. So the first one is Australia. 
we go to Perth. Thank you. We are at the central station at the airport of a project here. Thank you, thank you, and Merry Christmas. Now we go to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I'm Alessandro Rocco, the manager for the professional group. We are having the representative of our colleagues in, here in Riyadh. We are uh, reaching almost 90% project. We are uh, in, in the last stage of construction, but almost we are in uh, even in test commissioning and the train are also running since uh, more than nine months on the line of the entire of, uh, the 40 kilometer of metro line six in Riyadh. Um, we, are, we wish you a safe 2021 and a Merry Christmas to everybody. We are having the train that is uh, reaching us. Uh, stay with us a few seconds maybe. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you very much for your work. Thank you, thank you, everybody. See you. Adesso ci colleghiamo con Parigi. Now Paris. My name is Pasquale Costa. And I've been working for the new Paris Metro Lines. We are we are in Olney Soubois, north of Paris, and uh, this we've been working on an 11-kilometer-long tunnel, and I'm part of the oversight team. Tunnel. We have carried out the digging of the tunnel. And uh, let me address you my heartfelt greetings from Paris. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you. And we hope for a football 2021. Milano. Then we go to Milan because it's the headquarters of ENI. It is a building, a construction site. My name's Maurizio Parisi. Uh, Panisi, I'm sorry. And uh, we're building the new any headquarters. The interpreter apologizes, but the line is disrupted. This is the new any headquarters. This here has been particularly difficult, and I would like to address you my heartfelt Christmas greetings. Congratulations. Dip. Complicated connection, but we saw you a Fragola, Naples, Bari, Link. Su della nostra passione. Pronti, ci siamo. Siete bellissimi. Sono Pelliccia. Qui è lo staff della Napoli Bari. Abbiamo anche l'ingegnere Moriello che segue il quarto lotto. E qui praticamente. We. We're working on the fourth batch, and this is the building site of the first segment of the Napoli-Bari railway links. We're beginning to see the first outcome of our work. We've seen that we joined our colleagues coming from the other side. We used to be separated, and now we are a little bit more united. And uh, my best wishes from here, let me wish all our colleagues all over the world Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Congratulations. Uh. Wonderful, wonderful this tour. Now we go to Catania, Palermo Catania Connection. Link. Good afternoon, my name is Fabio Rufo. I'm a project manager here. This is the 38 uh, rail link doubling of the line. 
Unfortunately. Vediamo. Unfortunately, we can't hear you. Sorry, but we see you. We can't hear you. Il paese. Uh, let me address you my Christmas wishes. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Happy New Year. We go to Milano, Genova. Buongiorno a tutti, è davvero un'emozione essere collegati con voi tutti. Qui ci troviamo dal terzo valico nella tratta nord. We are north part of this uh, tunnel. It will be the longest uh, railway tunnel in Italy underneath the mountain. And this is a symbolic point for us. Uh, this has been a place where we worked for the uh, Genoa um, bridge, and uh, this is a, both a mechanically and humanly operated building site. We're actually um, taking over a new challenge, and we are able to look forward. And we are able to turn our glance towards Genoa. An old diaphragm has been demolished, and a new uh, rail link will be established. And we are doing this thanks to the commitment of our teams. Uh, we have some uh, workers' representatives, and we would like to wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. The same to you. Happy Christmas. And we go to Milan, Me the underground in Milan. I'm a project manager here. We are near the railway line. This year has been particularly difficult. We've managed to continue working. We kept uh, digging tunnels and uh, we completed this double lane tunnel. We're showing, we're seeing that, uh, you know, connection <laughs> problems are shared all over Italy, both in the north and in the south. Let me, it's very difficult uh, to hear you. Let's move to Florida. Let's see whether the connection uh, is more successful there. Now we go to Florida. Let's see if we can hear you. <laughs> the connection from Florida is excellent, actually. Uh, please, go ahead. Good evening. Matt. Here I am the project director for C43 in Florida. Uh, we are in the field right now. We are excavating the perimeter canal, one of the milestones that we have to deliver for November 2021. So we are working at full speed. And I just wanted to wish happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year to all of you. Buon Natale, buon anno. Buon Natale, buon Natale, buon Natale a tutti. Buon anno a tutti. Adesso, last but not least, andiamo in North Carolina. Last but not least, in North Carolina. Thank you for the opportunity and greetings from Raleigh, North Carolina. Florida? Yes. Yes, go on. I'm the project director of the 440 Beltline Project. I'm standing at the intersection of 440 and Wade Avenue interchange. This project extends 6.5 miles through a congested corridor. As you can see behind me in the early stages, it's a phased construction to account for existing traffic. Lane got this work in 2018 using sustainable mobility concepts by saving critical right-of-way and property around the interchange. It's in the middle of a major, major university, university, North Carolina North State, State Maryland College. College. Our high technical score was obtained, score was obtained by allowing NCDOT to save right away costs. Right away right away right 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 we got this project up against tough competition, top competition where Lane was not the low bidder. This project, this project yet was deemed the best value. This Grazie. project is a great example of our sustainable growth here at Lane. 
Grazie, auguri. Grazie. Thank you, thank you. Auguri di buon anno e buon Natale. Congratulations, uh, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Paesi con 100... You are in 60 countries with 100 projects. It was not possible to have a link with all of them, a connection with all of them. We took 10 of them. So that gives you the idea of the sides. Maybe in a normal moment, you couldn't even think of having such a great number of people connected. This is the wonder of technology. We're, you know, distance geographically, but very close together. Uh, we've managed to access new segments. Uh, we are hopefully are going to be able to access new sectors, including uh, optic fibers. Because as far as I'm, I can see, there's a huge potential there. We, we can actually improve connections. Uh, and if we build, we're able to put the uh, heat sands its hands in this sector it could be something uh, uh, good for everyone. The most striking thing, apart from the enthusiasm of all these people, and say that they were happy of working for sustainability projects, they all mentioned security and safety norms, because you had to, uh, you, Mr. Lotizzi, said it, uh, we, there was a great flexibility from your side in order to change the productive uh, um, working methods, taking more space, help from vendors. Uh, this has always been paramount to us. Safety has always been a daunting challenge. And let me think of those who are working in uh, health and safety the, these teams have been working uh, in an outstanding way. They've been able to uphold safety despite the emergency situation uh, due to, to a global epidemic. And this has been particularly uh, daunting. Health and safety is a way of being. There are no compromises. Uh, we are leaders in health and safety. We conceive our infrastructure based on health and safety. We train people on health and safety. We keep monitoring it. We keep enhancing safety because safety means going back home either in the evening or in the morning in the same way um, you went to work. More than 500 people are working on health and safety throughout the world. This means that we've actually created a safety culture. We share this culture. We cannot work on it on our own. This is a shared culture. Uh, in our organization, we share this culture with our subcontractors and suppliers who need to participate in the very same way, because they are both um, like they could uh, actually have... Act complicated. Was it complicated? Yeah, they could suffer from accidents as well. and. Uh, it must become fundamental. Uh, this uh, must be part and parcel of our work. We need to produce and do so in safety. It's a cultural change. We've uh, achieved major results. Our safety indexes are probably one of the best in the world. We've um, missed only a few hours due to accidents. Uh, we are proud of it, but there's more than that because we need to keep working and uh, we can uh, uh, still improve a lot. We've uh, we're awarded the Rospa gold medal. Uh, Ro Rospo means spot in Italian. Uh, so it's not a bad word. It's a prevention at workplace award. And uh, we were actually delivered this award virtually by Queen Elizabeth but safety means respecting other people, and this is our philosophy. And this 
So we have a very diverse holding company, but we are shared by the very same general culture, and we are a special organization. That is why you have established something, the safety trophy. This is the second year you award this prize for those construction sites that had distinguished themselves for the attention to safety issues and contribute to the achievement of the group's results. Uh, very important, uh, well, very important to word this year, the, this year's topic was COVID, how to win this challenge over. And let's, uh, now let's. <laughs> the first one. The first of the two awards. No, no, they're not. They're, they're two separate awards. They're two separate awards. Well, the first. Uh, is uh, won by the General Bridge. The, the We Build uh, Award is going to be delivered uh, to people working there. You see, good uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is another award that you've won. You've won many awards, and uh, congratulations, congratulations, and. Uh, Thank you once again for what we've managed to do this year all together. We are very proud of this uh, award, uh, very proud of it, actually, because safety is very important to us. We care about safety. This is, uh, we've always uh, enjoyed the support of our workers. More than 1,000 people worked in total safety on this bridge, and I share this award with uh, my staff and my team who has uh, helped me achieve, the, achieve this award. I have missed uh, uh, health and safety manager who deserves a lot of uh, credit for this award. And uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. I wanted to read the reasons for this prize because it guaranteed a continuity of work in a full context, in a context of pandemic. It was a challenge, yes. This, yeah, we were actually hit by this uh, challenge uh, and we've managed to seize this opportunity. We've managed to complete this uh, wonderful infrastructure. Thank you to all. My, all the teams uh, who worked on the General Bridge. I was reading the reasons uh, in order to guarantee, uh, for having guaranteed the continuity in a full pandemic period of time. As a pioneer, they implemented the best uh, measures against COVID, but also for the very highest level of safety with the innovation innovative project taking care of these workers and its workers and the third party by supporting them in the shared development of the culture of safety. So felicitations, compliments to you for the incredible work. And the second first prize is... And the other award goes to the Ruta del Sol team in Colombia. Uh, they've managed to spread the safety culture and... Uh, And people who were positive were able to bear witness to our culture and they were able to tell other people what to do in case of infection. And thanks to their work, we've been able to continue working in Colombia. of 1,800 people who worked with me. Uh, let me thank the safety team of this project. And let me thank all the personnel from uh, our client and partners and subcontractors. Let me thank all those who suffered restrictions on travel and uh, the these people have had to stay, keep distance from their families in Colombia and abroad. Thank you.
Thank you to the safety manager, Michele Chiesa. I'm reading the reasons in order to, for having guaranteed involvement of workers about anti-COVID and safety measures in a context of aggressive spread of the pandemic in South America through communications and engagement campaign with using audiovisual tools, storytelling tools, uh, as Mr. Salini was saying, involving uh, uh, workers with COVID and uh, who have recovered from a hit. So at the most level, how to show that this effort was implemented in a geographical area of more than 1,000 kilometers. So a huge work. So compliments to the, the two winners of these two prizes, which are important prizes. So we have mentioned about the importance of future. So now we are always mentioning uh, in this such a complicated phase of the Genoa model, which became uh, a uh, sort of polar star of everybody. It's not a mirage. No, it's a miracle, yes, but it's not a miracle, a mirage. But. No, no, absolutely. We can actually copy this model. We need uh, to continue to promote such a model. Uh, Italy suffered from the collapse of bridges, and we need lasting bridges. This is a fundamental topic for me. Well, we're facing a major recession. We've been seeing it everywhere when uh, financial instruments uh, are finished. We are going to see the worst uh, forms of recession, many small companies will be forced to close and many medium-sized businesses will have to close and uh, the tourist sector will be totally upset. Um, what do we have to do? The world has been uh, going back to the basics of public economy what is uh, the multiplier of investors? Keynes used to tell this story. Well, many people are distracted and um, probably we know who, what the real multiplier is, investment. Um, and uh, we need to be endowed with investment. We are able to turn ideas into dreams. We are able to turn them into activity, thousands of people working, supply chains mobilized, subcontractors are called up, and capacity to execute projects and to change economies, to change the economy. We are able to take up this challenge. We are able for a new industrial plan. We are able to reap the benefits of a backlog, and we are able, we are ready to take advantage of the need for infrastructure that we've seen everywhere. And we're going to do so in total safety. We are going to ch check to keep all checks and balances. And we are going to do so by keeping a high level of oversight. And, but we need to work because this means providing people with opportunity. What are we thinking about? We are thinking about a growth-based industrial basis. In our backlog, we have all the projects uh, that are needed uh, to face a good year. Uh, 500 million are coming from new projects. In 2023, we are going to actually uh, reap the benefits of projects going from this year to 2023. Our industrial plan is solid and it's based on a backlog of uh, awarded projects, but we still can do more. We, for instance, work on uh, um, high-speed trains in Texas. We can probably work on large infrastructures in Italy, for instance, the Verona, Padua, um, Link, or the uh, Genoa hub, or the 106 uh, road in southern Italy. Uh, many things are still left. I'm uh, 
quite confident about the future. I'm proud to lead a young company. Our personnel is very dynamic, and uh, our people are smiley, jolly people, smiley, happy people, and uh, these people give you strength. And uh, we are going to, we have improved our organization to face organizational challenges. Uh, there have been new challenges, and we are going to access uh, safe markets, and we are going to actually stabilize our cash flow. We, we want to grow in terms of EBITDA and uh, cash flow. This is a mantra that you're going to hear, it's because generate cash flow makes the difference. It enhances the value of our holding company, and we are going to actually uh, raise the value of our uh, shares. We are working on innovation, and the COVID challenges, the COVID challenge, uh, meant that we worked on uh, IA, artifi uh, IA in, in artificial intelligence. We need to grow in productivity. We needed to invest in technology. We need to change our equipment. Uh, we need to change our monitoring systems. We have new technology. We need to use it. We need to use virtual technologies, and we can um, actually base new control systems on them. We can remotely control building sites, so we can lower costs, and we can more efficiently oversee uh, building sites with people scattered all over the world. We can access new um, sectors, including maintenance, which is badly needed in Italy, and in uh, optic fibers, which is desperately needed in Italy. And um, this is uh, new engineering and new monitoring work, the creation of smart highways. Uh, driverless cars will need to be able to operate these highways. Uh, we are future providers. We are going to be those who will empower new generations. Um, so this uh, is the summary of this year. We need to shift from uh, a building company to a future provider. It is a vision, a vision for the future. It is clear ideas, projects, and many projects. So, and mostly a big team, a huge team. I don't know if Claudio Lautiti and Massimo want to reach us in order to give us our best wishes, a, a virtual toast. Where is Maria Pia? I brought my um, uh, the, 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 the ammunition to make a toast. So, so it, it, everybody from his own home. Let's, let's raise a virtual toast. Let's raise our glasses virtually. Let's make a toast. Oh, we have, all right, we have a real, a real toast who is going to unscrew the cork, I think. We have many engineers, so one, the one who will open the bottle, I see from home. Uh, yes, Donato, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please take, take a glass. Please take, uh, raise your glasses from home. I see that there are those who are ready already from home, virtually. Well, let me virtually and physically wish you Merry Christmas. Uh, a heartfelt, uh, my heartfelt uh, greetings. Uh, new challenges, new achievements. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. The warmest wishes to all of you. Virtualmente a voi tutti, grazie. Virtual, virtual wishes to all of you. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas and best wishes to all of you. We can close here and see you soon. Auguri.
Ci abbiamo tutto. <ride> We build. Le persone, il nome. Ah, quante sono? Sì. Saluti. Merry Christmas to all of you.